Yeah, we, we tend to think we're pretty cool, us Chicago people. There's a pretty good sense of pride, and it's a lot different than New Yorkers or, you know, people in L.A. I feel like, you know, nothing against them, but uh, to be fair, I think we're better. <laughs> In Chicago, you grow up, and in club soccer, it's a lot of battles. I kind of realized every time I'll start scoring some goals, they'd either move me up a year or, you know, find a team for, for my team to play against that, you know, would, would kick us and bring us back down to earth. We knew he had a dream from, you know, very little, that he just wanted to play soccer. That was all he ever wanted to do, and my, my family was so good at supporting, you know, that dream and knowing how good he was. In 2000, Mike McGee was selected to play for the under-17 national team. He left his family in Chicago and moved to the Florida residency program at age 15. He has this chance to go in and play for the men's national team, and you can't say, okay, we were supporting you, but no, don't go, we'll miss you. So it was a hard kind of reality. And it's like my only brother, my best friend, like, you know, you have all these memories of everything that you did is with your little brother, every soccer game, Christmas, and not even those big moments, but just like playing together in the backyard and, and then he's just like up and gone. I thought I was going to be gone for about two years. I think the first six months when I was in Florida was very difficult and then obviously it, it sinks in, you know, I just got to make another year and then I'll be going back home and then Towards the end of that, I got drafted in New York, and then that's when it started to feel like I might never get back. After six years with the Metro Stars and Red Bulls, Mike was traded to the LA Galaxy in 2009. Every year that went by, you kind of learned to accept it. And it was like, now I'm watching my brother on TV, and it's weird that that became normal. When he was in his off season, albeit a short period of time, we'd make up for the, the nine, 10 months that he's on the road. And, be around each other all the time, but uh, yeah, we missed them tremendously. It's kind of crazy to look back at all the times when I was so desperate to get home and it just, it just never worked out or, or seemed like it never would. The Galaxy won the MLS Cup in 2011 and 2012, with Mike McGee playing a pivotal role. Even with global superstars like David Beckham and Landon Donovan, it was McGee whose clutch scoring earned him the nickname Mr. November. In Los Angeles, news shifted away from the pitch. Robbie Rogers, a former MLS All-Star who had retired earlier in the year after coming out publicly as gay, began working out with the Galaxy and pondering a comeback. But his MLS rights were owned by the Chicago Fire. I was reading an article where Robbie Rogers had a quote saying, I do not want to play in Chicago. Or maybe he said, I don't want to live in Chicago, but. Uh, either way, the, the first thing that crossed my mind was, well, damn, you know, I, I do want to play in Chicago. So from then on out, it kind of kept weighing on me more and more. I felt like I needed to, you know, at least speak up and see if it was a possibility. On May 24th, the Galaxy announced a trade. Robbie Rogers would be playing in Los Angeles. And moving to Chicago in exchange was Mike McGee. But once the trade went down, you know, I couldn't stop smiling and, you know, to get to come home is something I've literally been waiting for for 14 years. When Mike joined the Chicago Fire, they had already played 11 MLS matches. They had won just two of them. From the moment I got in the locker room, I wanted to make a point that, you know, a lot had been made about me just coming home. And, you know, I just wanted to make sure guys knew that all I really care about is winning. Mike's got an edge to him, you know. Mike brought something we didn't have, like intangibles, just his passion, his personality, when he's on the field, his competitiveness. He's just got something that you can't teach. Make it five straight for Magic Mike. After McGee's arrival, the Fire did not lose in their next seven matches. And Mike scored in every one of them. We're just a group of guys that were waiting for a spark. We've kind of had this negative cloud around us for a little bit, and, um, you know, he's been the spark. I've had about 15 cousins and parents and my sister and her family, and, you know, there's, there's people here I'm not going to let me off the hook if I missed a big chance, or they're, they're going to let me hear it if I lose a game, so I need to perform. 
we've been to each one of his games so far, and I know it's incredibly special. You just can't express how elated we are as a family that the you know the kid that that uh, always seems to be the glue to the family is here, and everybody just seems to be happy when he's around. Online voting. <laughs> Oh man, I think it's still sinking in. Like all of a sudden, remember, like him, like being there in the mornings just for breakfast and giggling and talking about soccer and about life and boys and girls and and just different things. Like, like all these memories kind of flood back in. And it's like, do I get to have that again? You know, obviously we're grown up and we each have our families, but it kind of took me back to being a little kid with him, like before he left. Who's your favorite player? <laughs> it's so emotional, and it's hard to believe that I have kind of my brother back after almost half of, half of our lives. About 14 years ago, this kid went on an incredible journey. Took a, he left the nest of a phenomenal family to begin a life that most kids could only dream of. Even when he's been gone, he's never left his heart and he's never left his family. We've always remained in contact with him. We watched him. We watched him grow. We watched him become a tremendous young man. He's a phenomenal guy to be around. He makes our family complete. We couldn't be happier to have Michael back home. We love you, buddy. Love you too.